Hey everyone, I hope everybody have a good day. Wherever you in the morning, afternoon, even, I don't care what it is. I know y'all everywhere. <laughs> okay. So um today's subject will be happy pride month, y'all. Woo, 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 woo. Mm. To celebrate, mm. to be yourself. Being out gay, lesbian, bi, trans, intersex, pansexual, everybody, okay? Everybody. We just living our life, and and what we could do is live, live our best truth, live our life, fight for our rights, because this country, especially the USA, is tripping right now. Baby, with these homophobic, tremophobic assholes. In office, messing with our rights. They just try to pass this mess up law and not make us feel unsafe and all this shit. I won't. I won't blame y'all. Bet you y'all in the red state. Shit, I'm in the red state. Hope y'all stay safe down there. Fight for your rights. If you, I don't want y'all to move out of your home state because. Y'all politicians being an asshole. And I'm sorry for my trend brother, sister, and not bad people down there. I'm sorry y'all had to deal with never, never any of transphobic bullshit down there. I am sorry. Even though I never know what it like to be trans, I'm a sin just a woman. I'm never going to stand there. But I'm staying with y'all. Because this is some bullshit. Like, what the fuck? My trend brother sister do and not bury people do wrong. Nothing. All they do is just want to live their life, have their fucking pronoun and shit, just live their fucking life in fucking peace. Like, there's some bullshit. Like, I did not expect that like, this year particularly be a hot mess for LGBTQ plus community. I didn't know. And plus, in my second year of being out as queer or bisexual. And then I had the experience. This fucking year. Seeing anti-trend laws. Because somebody, mama, daddy, uncle, auntie, who the fuck they are, being an a-hole, intraphobic, and homophobic. Talking about, we need to get rid of these people. Bitch, we need to get rid of your ignorant ass. Duh. <laughs> okay? Like, shit. Like, we need to vote their ass out in 2024. We need to vote their ass out. They not going to take away our pride away and our happiness away because they fucking miserable. Okay? To my trans brother, sister, and not bad people, keep your head high and stay strong because this is ridiculous. If y'all had to stay safe, stay safe. I won't blame y'all. I don't want to risk y'all safety for these fuckers, okay? These homophobic, transphobic motherfuckers, okay? But other than that, get out the window. But happy Pride Month, y'all. I don't know what we're going to do this month. But for me, you know, I'm out. For two years as bisexual. For a very long time, you know, learning about my sexual orientation and learning about LGBTQ plus community. Even though I'm still new, even though I my advocacy work tends to focus on, you know, disability rights or disability advocacy involved with like to be autistic and stuff. I never died down to like LGBTQ plus, even though I had that, don't I have that kind of experience with it? But I do have family member, not not me and my family, but friends, acquaintances, or you know, part of the LGBTQ plus community. And you know, at the time, you know, we hear things growing up like a whole lot of homophobic, transphobic growing up, like, oh, if you part of that community, you are going to hell. Especially with the religion part, right? And I didn't know there are some LGBTQ plus community part, you know, who are religious. 
I don't know what what religion y'all are. What what type of religion y'all practice? I ain't know that fucking exists. I thought it was for straight people. Hmm. If I be honest. When I first started to learn about, like, about churches, especially, you know, Baptist church, I'm, you know, I am a Christian, so let everybody know. But I don't know about that part. I don't know. Even though I do believe in God, I do believe in, you know, Christianity and stuff like that. But, baby, the people who pushing it, mm, I'm not walking with that. Let's say they're full of a bigot. So, and don't know no better. So, um, yeah. So, even though, like, growing up, you be hearing that homophobic and transphobic shit going up, and, you know, you thought to believe that, so, growing up, of course, you didn't know better. But as, you know, me got older, think of my ass straight. <laughs> We all assumed we were straight one point, right? Yeah. And, um, so, you know, I thought and learned about, you know, my sexual orientation. Think around, thought, well, actually questioning my sexuality, my sexual orientation. I was 15 years old. I was 15 in the 10th grade. And, baby, I was so confused baby and I realized I have a crush on my basketball teammate yeah I never thought about that but but yeah I thought my ass was tripping at first to be honest with y'all nope yeah and let's say ever since I be found her on Facebook Let's say I comment every photo of her saying, you always be the fool. And baby, and I thought I'd look at my comment, how I be thinking, and let's say I was fascinated with her. It was bad, y'all. But, um, and I meant that one day, she, that she have a boyfriend, bitch, I would crush. I was so crushed that day. Okay, Whew. I will crash. Okay, I'm about to cry though. But it was true. I was hurt that day though. I was hurt. I'm like, and I knew at that moment, bitch, you ain't straight. <laughs> you ain't straight, bitch. And plus, I call. I would question my sexuality and call call up to closer. You know, my sister. You know. Thought, you know, I could trust her. That's a lie. And plus, she kind of outed me three times before I came out. And I came out two years ago. The first one, I was a teenager. Um, I think I was a teenager. I think so. I mean, she told my, my cousin to tell who had passed away, um, Four years ago, from I guess something going with her um, liver failure going on, she told her that in front of her say, "I think my sister like girls." And I'm looking at her like, "Sis, why you tell her?" And cool, I ain't did shit because that my sister. Second time, oh god, on Father's Day, I, I don't know how what year ago was it. Probably right after high school, I know that part. Probably bef- before the pandemic. Yeah, it was before the pandemic. And she asked me for everybody, my brother, sisters, and probably my niece and nephew, and my parents. Alan B. Second time. Third time. I don't remember what the third time was, but. Yeah. That ain't good. So, um, I guess then, you know, learn about, you know, learn about LGBTQ plus community and core K 
became an activist for the disability community back in 2018. And also want to decolonize my mind and try to be a better ally to everybody and to anyone who are marginalized. And um, and I went to, I would go in the community college at, at first. They have a club for LGBTQ plus community and we learn a lot from each other and all that stuff and learn about LGB history and what it like to be LGBT. That that before I came out as bi. That out there confusing mode then. But um and of course I've in many of my um Activist friends are all part of the LGBTQ plus community and also have a disability. So that was interesting. <laughs> and also, I learned that, that um, I think I saw a study that if you are autistic, you are more likely to be part of the LGBTQIA community. I'm like, why is that? And I'm assuming how, you know, how we interpret sexuality and sexual orientation. Since we, you know, autistic, we have to go in the brain. And, you know, how we view sexuality, how we like people. It could be why. Why we more likely be part LGBTQ plus community. So it's kind of like a spectrum of different sexuality and orientation. And of course, you know, listening to, you know, before I came out, you know, be a better ally to the LGBTQ plus community and also follow, you know, people on social media who part of the LGBTQ plus community. And maybe if I get a little curious, um, learn about um, LGBTQ plus issue, and I remember watch a um, few um LGBTQ plus movie or T V show. I don't think how many, but I remember watching this one movie it was about a trans woman in Argentina and that was a very good um movie. And I felt like wanna cry throughout the movie like damn. I was like all she wanted to do want well, to feel accepted, you know, even though I don't know what I like to trans, but I know what I like to be different, you want people to accept you as you are, maybe because I relate to that because I have a disability, even though I don't know what I like to be trans, but I could relate like, dang, we just want to accept it, bitch, like, why are y'all kids accept it as we are, you know, and of course that, as I, you know, being an activist, Try to be allied to other, uh, other mother like community. Try to be better, and also then I learned about you know pronoun or if they use they them pronoun. I like that I use it now. Like if they prefer that I say that, you know, sometimes listen to the community and also learn about you know what LGBTQ plus community be dealing with. You know, if I see it on like social media or whatever and I learned about that. I thought what I'm like, okay, you know. And also, um since I go to UC Greensboro, which I go to now, and they got this club called No Label, which is uh, focused on, you know, uh uh queer of color, you know, black and brown people who are part of the LGBTQ plus community and talk about intersectionality within the LGBTQ plus and of course we got people, you know, come to the club and I think I joined them in spring of twenty twenty two. And um my second semester at at UCG and uh I learned a lot, you know, about protection, you know, you know, if you're part of LGBTQ plus community. Oh, damn, I forgot. I did watch a movie. Actually, two or three movies. I forgot what they're called. I can't freak up the top of my head. But, um... Yeah, back to what I was saying, like... To the No Label Club. They're called No Label. 
and um we I learned about sex um education for LGBTQ plus because I did not know. Well I kinda knew a little bit that, you know, LGB, you know, have have a high HIV or AIDS because, you know, with that situation back in the nineties at the time with a crisis going on and I figured in a movie about that. What doing the A crowd and with activism and all this stuff going on, and I'm doing. I can't remember the name though. I can't remember. But they be like, you know, few move TV show movies that display, you know, someone who, who part of that community, you know, learn about that and try to understand that. And also, like, I used to have a stereotype, especially about, you know, gay men. Particularly, you know, they all feminine, or, you know, or, you know, all that stuff. And, yeah. But I was wrong. They did the type of gays. <laughs> like, did the type of lesbian, did the type of bisexual, all that stuff. I think I got a whole lot of learning to do, but... Y'all, we not the fucking same. <laughs> okay. So we also human beings. That what I'm learning as well. And um Yeah, like ever since like I came out at by and make it fun of my um being coming out at by two years ago, I came up a day after by visibility day. I came out after the day after by visibility day. Ain't that and what about? I came out after that day. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm out, bitch. Like, I'm gonna play this song. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. I'm the man is so coming out. I'm coming out. Yeah. I use that song when I came out. And of course, you know, some of my family member, you know, like, oh, you know, we love you, but why you got to put it on the internet? And I'm like, it's my life. <laughs> you know, it's my life. And plus, you know, me being comfortable being autistic on the internet, telling people I'm autistic, and do my advocacy work, talk about, you know, autism. Oh, yeah, I'm going to talk about missing my disability and shit, you know, of course. Um, of course, I'm going to say that I'm bi. So, what the fuck a point? And, I, and, like, at the point in my life, fuck people. Accept me, the will me. And I also follow some some artists that may be part of LGBTQ. But, majority of the time, I really don't give a fuck what I listen to. If their music good, I play their music. <laughs> but I know Janae Monet, they them, they use they them. But I think I did this that you see they I can't remember. But you know, they uh, I they say about, you know, they use they them pronoun. I get I'm assuming they pan, but but I think with them they don't put a label on it. So I'm gonna say sexual fluid. They like mm, love love. So I'm gonna say sexual fluid. Because sexuality is fluid. So yeah. But um Yeah, it's just, you know, decolonizing my mind and not to stereotype people and work on my homophobia and transphobia. And I'm not perfect, but, you know, I'm a work in progress, you know. And have a more sympathy for people who are marginalized. So, and checking my biases, so. And even right after I, you know, I came out as bisexual, and I started watching more and more uh, LGBTQ plus content, like um, it could be movie, TV show, mostly movie. It tend to be talk, you know, gay men. Um, this is more like gay gay men relationship, you know, finding love and stuff. I think I did watch like one, two. What about lesbian? Oh, I think it one or two. I don't remember, but it was a good movie. But I don't think them two 
two movie that were um played by um you know people from the community so yeah um but it's a good movie though but um you know you just the call out my mind and also learn about drag so I'm like you know yeah, my foot drags so went back in my community college because that club at the time, it's called Pride Club, if I remember correctly, and uh, they have, you know, doing a drag show. And I've never been to a drag show. Like, I'll be saying on T, but not me experience. But, baby, it was the shit. I'm like, yes, bitch. I'm like, yes, yes. Yeah, give me your money. But, you know, I think I had some money on me at the time. I can't remember. But, baby, I do have videos for my first drag show. I still got it. I hope I, I don't want to delete it, though. I really don't want to delete it. Uh, I really do. I love it. Like, I love the show. And also, um, and of course, at my school, which is UNC Greensboro, is it is the the campus is very gay as hell, and there's a lot of like LG LGBTQ plus students on campus, so it's gonna be gay as hell. <laughs> so, so it's a kind of good thing. I kind of went to you know UC Greensboro because it's a gay at campus, cause, and also find out, you know, my my college, which is UC Greensboro, they were it first started as a women college. And um, they probably, you know, back then, of course, very conservative. And of course, you had to be in a closet because it's not kind of safe back then to be out. And, um, but there were a lot of, like, people who were part, a lot of people who were part of the LGBTQ plus community. And, um, it kind of grew from there. From the, and then, of course, the school came a co-ed in the 1960s. And from there, you know, in the camp is very like LGBTQ plus friendly. You would see signs that you know, you know, some faculty or staff have training, you know, about you know, LGBTQ plus issue and be friendly and stuff like that. So I thought it was cool, and um, yeah, we got gay ass um clubs. <laughs> No label, you know. I learned a lot of it. And of course, I, you know, meet people and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, I have a good time. And also, I noticed that, like, ever since I came part of that club, I know there was some artistic queer people in the club. <laughs> yeah, like, Y'all, like, how the fuck? But I do know one person. Um, they white. Um, it's a she, but she trans. She trans, and um, yeah, I love her too. You know, she had to leave because some issue with somebody in the in the student club, so, so she had to leave. But the other person, I did not realize they all did it too. They black, and, you know. I think they bisexual like me, and I did not know. They, you know, autistic. I'm like, bitch, how I didn't know. And one for that damn, um, you know, fashion show, you know, you know, for the, um, for the uh, SGA or um, Ace, I guess some. Um, Student club, they do event thing for the student body. You know, I was part of that, you know, festival. And I, and I did a good job, like, ew, ew, ew. And, babe, I met, like, the person I met for student club and the other one who also found out they the drag queen on the side. They do the drag, drag thing on the side. And um, find out they were autistic, too. I'm like, bitch, what? And also, they, you know, they black. How the fuck I did not know? And baby, it seemed like ever since I came 
on UC Greensboro. I see, I see black Zay people who are also part of the LGBTQ plus. You see, like, every time whoever I interact with is part of the LGBTQ plus community and black and queer. How the fuck? And autistic. I'm like, bitch, I thought I would be like the only one, but bitch, I'm not lonely no more. <laughs> I would. You know, getting concerned, you know, being new on camp and this shit. Like, bitch, am I gonna be the only one who autistic shit? Bitch, I'm not the only one. But even though it ain't be many, but I let me feel a little fucking better, you know? And, uh, yeah. Best with Red Pride Mom, you know, even though it's in my second year, I, you know, had to decolonize my mind what I thought about sexuality or sexual orientation and by myself and all this stuff and I just hate that this fucking year is gonna be suck for everybody because we got these fucking politicians want a bad drag show. What the fuck drag show had to do with the bullshit? I'm like, bitch drag show motherfucker drag show Bitch, I love drag show shit. I never, of course, no label, did did the drag show this year and last year. Baby, it, at the pool party, I, baby, I had fun, okay? That was the motherfucking best time of my life, okay? Okay, I had fun. And then they don't mess with nobody. All they do is perform and do their dances. I'm like, eh, get it, get it. Baby, some of them could dance, baby. I'm like, ah. And also, and one of the consented from the uh, RuPaul show came for the drag show on campus for the pool party. Bitch, they were there. I'm like, ew, 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 ew. I'm like, yes, bitch. I'm like, yes, bitch, yes. You better get it. Mm, mm, mm. And I think I got, took a picture with them. No, I think I took a picture with, in, with the local uh, drag queen in Greensboro and and the one from the um, uh, RuPaul drag show. I did watch that show, but I never watched it that much. I think I was that a few years ago, but I think I stopped. I don't know what the fuck. Maybe I got different tastes and shit, but... But, you know, I be in the tent of period, okay? But, um, yeah. Yeah, I took a picture. I think I was a hot mess. My, I think my hair was messed up. I'm like, fuck. I should have checked my damn hair and shit. And plus, y'all, and at the time, I had to give me a new phone because my old phone died on my ass. I'm like, damn. Yeah, that week was fucking something else, baby. I been out without my phone for fucking three damn days. And they got me a new phone. It was okay, y'all, y'all. But, um, but I have a good time. And I did. I hope they do it again next year. And I got one more year left, y'all. Ooh, cool, cool, cool. One more year left. Mm-mm-mm-mm. One more year left. And also, I realized that my school that had like lavender graduation for LGBTQ plus community. And I'm gonna be in that bitch. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. You know, I'm be in that bitch. And the fucking general concession. In the general, in the graduation thing. And I just cannot wait, y'all. In that bitch, we did it. You know, I did it. I can't believe I'm about to graduate a year from now. I just can't believe it. What am I gonna do? And speaking of that, I'm going to find me a, you know, what I'm going to work for in the next future when I'm about to graduate. I do need to find a company that I work for, that LGBTQ plus family, and of course, this be family as well, because, you know, I'm no diverse and shit, and of course, being black as well, and being a woman, and, um, make so I feel safe and not feel like I'm taking motherfucking black artistic queer woman so yeah find a company that you know support me all of me and make sure they DEI on point because right now everybody fucking trip any politician 
And I'm just sorry for y'all, um, sorry for my, uh, my as you, you put a brother and sister down there, day and them. I'm sorry y'all did that bullshit in Florida. I'm just sorry for y'all. That's some bullshit. And I remember seeing, like, on the, on Facebook, on TikTok, shit, that they gonna po- boycott Florida. Shit, I don't blame them. You fucking with my wife. Hey, y'all wanna boycott the bitch shit on that motherfucker. Okay? Boop, boop, boop. Okay? Boycott they ass. Shit, probably the other damn state, if they go they damn route. I can't believe that damn Florida governor done the a-hole wanna be the fucking president. Forget that a-hole. Big as ass. Big as ass. Like, who? Like, please, like, get rid of that fool. And please, like, find somebody who not a damn bigot. And also to my LGBTQ plus brothers and sisters. And they and they and other, you know, pronoun. Work on your body as well. Like, work on your ableism, your internalized homophobia, transphobia, and other ism. Work on, work on your body and make sure our community, LGBTQ plus community, feel heard and feel seen. And of course, learning for each other from my experience so we don't, you know, be traumatized shit. And baby, fight for our rights because this shit is fucking suck. Man, I want to go to the pride, you know, um, pride, you know, event thing. And you know, damn. I want to take the risk though, but I don't know because people are tripping these fucking days. I think about it, y'all. I think about it. Damn. But I did went to one one time before the pandemic. I forgot what year that shit was. Probably 2019. It was 2019. I think it was 2019. And um I went to one back home with the Witch of Salem. It was nice though. My first prior event. It was, but I think I was late because I had to go to fucking work. But I have a good ass time, baby. Like, I really did have fun. I really did. I would have a good time. I would do it again, but I don't know. Mm. I'll try if I could find an event on, you know. And probably go to a like LGB uh, night light club if I see any. I think I'm going to check it out, you know, if any back in my. Back in with Salem, you see if they got any, and I'm gonna join me some, and um, have fun and make make acquaintances, friends, who knows, you know, be new to the LGBTQ plus community. I'm a newbie, so it's gonna take me a while to, you know, know the no woman, you know, would like to be part of the community. So wherever y'all at, hope y'all have a good day, and also. Also, I have a clubhouse. I have a clubhouse, which is an app called Clubhouse. And in the clubhouse called Black No Diversity. So I basically use Clubhouse to have conversation with people about, you know, my advocacy work, different subject of the week each week. So I do public live discussion every Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And I would try to use some of the conversation um better. Um if you are pet if you follow me on Patreon, you be going on on uh, club to have discussion with me because by live because we have the discussion, you know. If you, you know, want to jump in on public live discussion on Thursday, join me. And we're going to have a good ass time, you know, have the deep ass conversation. Now we'll go eat and have conversation. If you want to, like, decide, like, want to support me, what I do, have a conversation, you know, follow me on my social media account, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Follow, you know, you know, follow my content, you know, follow me on Patreon. 
or you want to pay me for PayPal or Cash App to support me, no matter how you do it, you want to have a conversation with me, go to Clubhouse. We had the damn conversation. If you like me for what I do, don't go to Patreon, support me, whatever you like to do. And, um, yeah, and everything will be in the description with my name and, of course, my social media account, my Patreon, club, have everything. You will see everything on there, and, yeah. Yeah, definitely, and hope y'all have a good day, good evening, good afternoon. Good morning, wherever you at. Bye, y'all. And happy Pride Month!